Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this necklaces, I'm going to be working with my porcelain clay. Feel free to work with polymer clay if you prefer. I just prefer to work with this one because it dries with air, which means that I don't have to bake it and you pretty much get the same results. I'm then going to be using my Wilton 1M. I have two Wilton 1Ms by the way. One is for my crafts like this and the other one is meant for my baking decorations. But if you just have one, clean it after. I'm going to be rolling my clay using this like two ring rings that are on each side i have the diy showing you how to make them it said that everything like has the same thickness i'm going to be cutting my clay with my piping tip pretty much using this as a cookie cutter before my clay dries i'm going to be taking this tool i do have the diy showing you how to make this and i'm going to be making the marks of like the halloween pumpkins to curves on each side like this and i'm going to let this dry then i'm going to be taking some more clay and i'm going to be rolling this into this really thin snake and then i'll just swirl this shape like this these are gonna be the stems but it's also how i'm gonna be hanging my charms and you know just go for the shape that looks cuter to you i'm gonna let all those things dry if you're working with polymer clay this is when you bake them for most of them i'm gonna be doing the same thing as far as like sketching the face of my, my halloween pumpkin which is pretty much what we all know and then using my exacto knife and this pretty much is like carving actual halloween pumpkins as far as like going back and forth with a knife with an actual pumpkin but in miniature like in miniature scale and this is the part that took me the longest and it was the most challenging part i won't lie about that but also i just took my time did one eye first then took a break came back did another eye and so on and so forth until i completed the whole face so i didn't do it in one sitting because it's so small i found it kind of overwhelming but i think the final result is so worth it so here's where i'm going to be doing different things to my different necklaces the first one i'm going to be painting this with my orange acrylic paint and my tiny brush and then going with my green acrylic paint my tiny brush and painting my stem then I used my crazy glue and glued the two pieces together like this. For all of them, I'm going to be using two chains or two necklaces. They are like pretty much done and ready for you to just place your charm. One is gold and the other one is silver. For this first Halloween pumpkin, I'm going to be using the silver, my silver jump ring, two pliers, opening my jump ring, placing my charm and then my chain in there, close on it. And this is what this one looks like. I really like it. I love it. And I also switched in all of them, having one tooth or just more than that. For the next one, I'm going to remove those ring rings because I want a really flat shape. Cut it until I have like a really really thin coin sort of shape and once it's dry I'm going to be painting one side of this black. I'm going to be using another Halloween pumpkin that I did gluing those two together gluing the black side towards the front so you can see the black coming through the cutouts of the face gluing my stem on the back and then just painting the black orange. I'm going to be adding some gloss and I'm using the one by Sculpey using my two brushes giving this to the three coats until it was shiny then I'm going to be doing the same thing with my jump ring and my chain and this is pretty much what it looks like like from the sides you can't see the black parts until you move to the front and i really like how it looks for my next one i'm going to be gluing my two pieces of clay before painting them and to paint them i'm going to be using this gold that i do have the diy for i customized this gold i just wanted to make a gold halloween pumpkin because i think they look really cute i did the same thing with my jump ring and my chain by the way but in this case i'm using gold jump ring and chain this is pretty much what it looks like i really like it too then i made another halloween pumpkin without the cutouts i just let it dry because i wanted to share this option as well in my opinion the cutouts look really cute but they are not the easiest to do you know what i mean i'm using this brush and that i do have a diy showing you where i got this first with little dots and then i'm going to connect those dots with the same tool and then filling this with a toothpick actually this is just a toothpick holder i do have the diy showing you how to make this i find toothpicks to be really easy to paint with they are like a really thin brush a delicate brush but they are tricky to hold and yeah this is what this one looks like really festive this one and actually i like all of them i do have my favorites so the first one and the gold one i think the first one is like dainty but still festive and the gold one i think it's really dainty from far away it looks like you're wearing something else doesn't look like halloween pumpkin at all it's just when you get closer that you see the whole thing and i think for some reason that most kids will prefer the shiny one hopefully there's something here for everybody and you like them too if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up and let me know down below check out more halloween accessories at home michelle and share this thank you so much for watching i'll take you later and take care bye